Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is Monday, March 26, 2012. Let's get right into the charts here. You're going to see the S&P 500 E-mini futures are surging higher today. They're trading higher by nine points at the moment, right to around the 1403 level. All of this move right here came this morning as uh, futures bottomed out right around four o'clock in the morning and have surged. Ben Bernanke is speaking at the moment. The first statement that he made today was hinting about a QE3, uh, talking about another quantitative easing, and the markets are loving it to the upside. So, again, uh, big pop early to start the day, basically on an announcement that QE3 will take place uh, in the near-term future, or at least he's willing to uh, perform a QE3 in order to get the jobs market uh, to, to become a little bit better. So, uh, that's what we're dealing with this morning. Uh, you can take a look at the U.S. dollar index. You'll see the dollar topped out right around 4 o'clock in the morning. Dollar has been selling off ever since. And you can see this sharp decline here in the U.S. dollar index ever since Ben Bernanke began to speak right around 8 o'clock in the morning. And the dollar has been selling off sharply, ultimately inflating asset prices across the board. Now, one thing you want to watch this morning is gold. GLD is soaring higher today on the comments that Bernanke is going to perform another QE3. As the dollar is falling, gold is catching a big, big bid. The same case could be made for silver. Um, we have not seen a huge move in oil just yet, but oil will catch a bid as well. Uh, we'll take a look at oil this morning via the USO, and you'll see the USO is, is just up a little bit, really not catching a bid like gold. But uh, nonetheless, oil has been very, very strong as of late either way. But um, Ben Bernanke's comments talking about another quantitative easing, uh, is lifting the markets really across the board. You can see just continuing to go higher. What traders want to do now is just keep a, a chart of the U.S. dollar index up. As the dollar goes down, the markets will go higher. And you can see the dollar falling pretty quickly here. <clears throat> As the dollar, the dollar just keeps dropping, markets will inflate. And you'll get that inflation move in gold and, uh, and silver. And you'll also see it in oil. I, I suspect you will. So, again, nice little move for the markets here, all on the falling back of a falling dollar. This is a sharp decline, believe it or not, from the high of the day. The dollar was at one point trading around the 79.90, 79.95 level, now trading at 79.35. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but that's a lot of meat and potatoes for the for the U.S. dollar index to drop uh, in such a short span of time. Dollar down, markets up. Uh, a few other things to talk about quickly. <clears throat> the Asian markets were basically flat across the board last night. However, however, big however. The Indian Sensex was down almost 2%. I believe it was down 1.78%, which is still a pretty decent decline. So traders should watch the Indian ADRs today if the markets start to get weak. If the U.S. markets are not weak, I wouldn't make much out of them. But um, Tata Motors, Infosys, and uh, you have the India Fund, IFN, <clears throat> they could all be under pressure today if the U.S. markets start to uh, show a little weakness. Right now, U.S. markets are fine, so I wouldn't worry about any of the Indian ADRs at the moment. But if if the U.S. markets turn down at some point or start to show weakness, then I think you would you'd have to concern yourself and watch those Indian ADRs. Other than that, other than that, uh, the Indian ADR, in Indian ADRs should be fine this morning. All right, let's take a look at a f couple of gold names that are on the move today. Uh, Rand Gold Resources, which has just been pummeled as um, one of its oil uh, one of its oil mines in, in Mali uh, is coming under ge some geopolitical uh, a, a f military coup but the, today the stock is catching a nice little bit higher um, you could take a look at here at um, it looks like royal gold <clears throat> catching a little bit of a bid this morning take a look at the GDX which is the gold miners ETF nice little pop there and obviously I showed you the GLD already catching a very very big pop and again if the dollars down gold will catch pretty sizable pops and that is definitely taking place this morning also on the back of the week a dollar um, you could watch stocks like Freeport McMoran starting to catch a bid uh, BHP Billiton I suspect yeah that's catching a nice bid anything commodity related if the dollar is down should catch a bid and you could also see uh, stocks like Rio Tinto that will catch a bit as well. So anything commodity related when the dollar falls this sharply will inflate and trade higher. So we'll have to just watch and see where that plays out. But right now, the chairman is uh, continuing to talk about quantitative easing. 
how the uh, the economy needs more of it and the market is loving the morphine. So that's all it comes down to. It's kind of ironic though last week that you had um, a couple of different uh, Fed presidents, one out of Dallas, one out of Minnesota, say that quantitative easing is not needed and it will just cause inflation and a bigger bubble down the road. And here comes the uh, the big boss, the Fed chairman, Ben Bernanke, saying how quantitative easing is needed and is likely and uh, inflates the markets back up. So you wonder if it's just, um, you know, if there's really dissension there or if it's just game playing by the central banks uh, to try to uh, bait some shorts in and then to, to whip them around. But either way, uh, the markets are trading sharply higher today. And that's really all I'm seeing. There's only one stock that I'm seeing uh, pre-market, that's Calmain Foods uh, today. Calmain Foods trading around the $42 level. It was a little bit below 41 Company had earnings. I wouldn't make too much out of it. As long as the markets are inflating, the stock should be fine. Um, this is also a light volume name. I'm not really sure what to make out of it. Uh, big upside, uh, big resistance on the upside would probably be around the 43 and then ultimately $44. But Either way, um, the stock's holding up fine at the moment. I wouldn't do anything with it either way. Okay, so we're going to leave it there today, nice and short and sweet. It's a Monday. There's not a lot really to report tomorrow. We'll have more in the, in the way of pre-market uh, gap ups and gap downs. But on Mondays, the volume is usually, is usually a little bit lighter. And today with the Ben Bernanke uh, speech taking place at 8 o'clock in the morning, um, talking about a QE, certainly giving the markets a big surge before the opening bell. So we'll see how it goes, and we'll see what the market gives us. Keep an eye on the U.S. dollar index. I think that's the only chart that you're going to need today. And if the dollar moves down, the markets will inflate. The dollar moves up, uh, the markets will deflate. It's pretty much that cut and dry. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you on the charts. Take care now.